Karibu tena mtazamaji tuendelee na taarifa zaidi kuangazia mambo ya matukio mbali mbali. Hali ya usalama imeimarishwa katika mpaka wa Kenya na nchi jirani ya Somalia wakati wa kuanza kwa mtihani wa kitaifa yani KCPE. Watahiniwa 5272 ni miongoni mwao wakiwa wakimbizi 1362 kutoka kambi ya wakimbizi ya Dadab wameshiriki katika mtihani huo ulioanza leo. Kizungumza mjini Garissa baada ya kuzuru shule za msingi katika kaunti hiyo, Kamishna wa kaunti ya Garissa James Kianda amesema kwamba mtihani huo umeanza bila tatizo lolote. Kumekuwepo na hali ya hofu kuhusu usalama katika kaunti hiyo huku wenyeji wakiwa na uoga kwamba kundi la Kigaidi la Al Shabab lilikuwa na nia ya kuvuruga mtihani hiyo katika miji ya Kulan, Damajale, Amuma na Bodai. Moja kwa moja mtazamaji hivi sasa basi tuwasiliane na wanahabari mwenzangu ambaye amefuatilia pia taarifa kutoka maeneo hayo ili atujuze zaidi kuhusiana na baadhi ya sehemu ambazo ziliweza kuanzisha mitihani yao hii leo na vile vile taarifiwa kulikuwa na mkutano wa usalama katika sehemu hiyo Hamza Yusuf anaungana nasi ili kutuarifu na yanayojiri kutoka katika sehemu hiyo ya kaskazini mashariki mwa Kenya yani kaunti ya Garissa Hamza Na masante sana mwenzangu Ali Manzu e, kwa hakika ni kwamba maeneo uliyotaja ni eneo ambalo linapakana na Kenya na, na Somalia eneo la Damajali eneo la Liboy Huluko eneo ambalo limekuwa na utovu wa usalama kwa muda kwa hivyo mara nyingi tunaweza sema kwamba e, maafisa wanaohudumu katika eneo hili wanakuwa mara nyingi na kibarua cha ziada kuhakikisha kwamba usalama umeweza kuhakikishwa katika maeneo hayo taarifa ambayo tuliweza kupeperusha mapema hii leo majira ya satano hivi kutoka kwa Wizara ya Elimu hususan msimamizi wa Wizara ya Elimu Aden Abdullahi inaonekana kukinzana kidogo na ile ya wasimamizi wa usalama kwa hivyo tulerifu kwamba karibu shule tano zimeweza kufungwa miaka za awali bali si mwaka wa 2017 kama tulivyoweza kupeperusha kwa hivyo ni taarifa ambayo tunazidi kuichambua lakini kwa kuzungumza tu mengi zaidi niko naye kamishna wa kaunti ya Garissa James Kianda labda ambaye atatueleza hali ilivyo katika eneo hili kwa sasa labda tueleze tu bwana eh, Kianda hali ya usalama iko vipi um, asante amsa eh, kwa majina naitwa James Kianda ni kaunti commissioner na Garissa hali ya usalama katika um, kaunti ya Garissa ni shwari hatuna matatizo hatuna tisho lolote kwa wakati huu labda kwa kujengea tu taswira watazamaji ambao hawajui kaskazini mashariki e, uko vipi kulikuwa na tishio kwamba hapo awali huenda mtihani ukavurugwa ndio taarifa tuliweza kupata mnaweza tueleza nini mnaweza thibitisha nini kufikia sasa e, mambo ya kuvuruga mtihani kawaida yetu kila wakati ambapo tunapata mpangilio kutoka kwa idara ya elimu sisi wana usalama huwa tunaketi tunafanya mipango pamoja na hawa kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila sehemu ambayo inafanyiwa mtihani tumeweza kuweka usalama wa kutosha lakini ni vizuri ijulikane kwa sababu ya vile we mwenye umesema ni ya kwamba tuko karibu na mpaka wa Somalia sehemu nyingi za shule zetu pia ziko kule kwa hivyo ile hali ya usalama ambayo tunapeana tuseme kwa tauni ya Garissa haitakuwa kama ile tunapeana kwa ile shule ambayo iko karibu na mpaka hiyo shule ambayo iko karibu na mpaka tunahakikisha tunaipatia hali ya usalama ambayo kidogo iko juu ili kuhakikisha kwamba kuna tisho lolote litapatikana. E, labda kwa kuuliza tu shule ya msingi ya Fafi ile ya Madhamarodhi e, na shule zingine kama Bulagolo tularifu kwamba zimeweza kufungwa zimefungwa saa ngapi na ilifungwa kwa nia ya nani? Jambo la kwanza ambalo ni vizuri tufahamu ni ya kwamba hizi shule kwa wakati huu hazina watainiwa kwa sababu ni shule changa ambazo zilianzishwa vijuzi na zijaweza kufikisha miaka nane ndio ziweze kuwa na watainiwa wa kidato cha ye, darasa la nane. Lakini ni vizuri pia ifahamike ya kwamba kulikuwa na matatizo ya kiusalama hapa wakati ambapo Garissa ilipata tishio na kupata pigo kutokana na magaidi wa Alshaba karibu miaka mitatu iliyopita na huo ndio wakati tunaweza sema ya kwamba kulikuwa na shule kadha ambazo zilipata matatizo lakini baada ya wakati huo tumeweza kujikakamua vilivyo na tumehakikisha kwamba hizo shule kwa sasa zinaendelea na masomo 
Asante sana mtazamaji huyo ni James Kianda Commissioner wa County ya Garissa akiwa pia na wenzake kutoka eneo hili uh, na, uh, kutoka vyombo vya usalama. Ni amethibitisha kwamba hakuna tatizo la usalama kwa sasa na mitihani zimeweza kufika maeneo ya mipaka. Pia kutoka kaunti ya Wajir na Mandera tunarifuwa kwamba mambo ni shwari kwa sasa na tishio hilo limeweza kuhakikishwa kwamba limekabiliwa na vyombo vya usalama. Cha msingi zaidi ni kwamba wanafunzi ambao wana mahitaji maalum ama special needs kwa mara ya kwanza wanafanya mtihani katika kiti ya Garissa hususan katika shule ya msingi ya Garissa. Ni matokeo ambao wengi wanaipigia darubini je itakuwa ni vipi? Matokeo ya mtihani katika eneo la kaskazini mashariki, shule ya msingi na pia shule ya upili mara nyingi hudorora. Je, ni yepi ambayo yanachangia matatizo kama haya? Unavyokumbuka mtazamaji, walimu waliweza kususia kazi e, miaka miwili mitatu zilizopita. Na mara nyingi inasemekana kwamba huenda ni kutokuwa walimu hao kwa shule ndio imeweza kuchangia e, wanafunzi hawa kuweza mtihani labda yao matokeo yao kudorora Ali Manzu. Na asante sana Hamza Yusuf kwa taarifa hiyo kutoka katika kaunti ya Garissa ambayo inaangazia maandalizi ya mtihani wa kitaifa katika shule katika maeneo hayo pamoja na kaskazini mashariki kwa ujumla. Wakati ambapo tunapoangazia swala hili na vile vile tunaangazia hali ya usalama hasa kwa wakazi kutoka maeneo hayo, kumbuka hili ni eneo ambalo limekuwa na uvamizi wa mara kwa mara hususan kutoka kwa wanamgambo wa Al Shabab. Na huku mtihani ama mitihani ya kitaifa katika shule za msingi kiendelea hii leo baadhi ya wafungwa katika baadhi ya magereza humu nchini pia walishiriki kwenye mazoezi hayo ili kujipima akili magereza kama vile ya Naivasha, Embu na Kitui ni baadhi tu ya sehemu ambazo wafungwa wengine walihudumu walikihudumia kifungo cha maisha waki, walikuwa wanapewa fursa ya kushiriki huyo anahudumia kifungo cha miaka kumi baada kupatikana na hatia kwenye kosa la kumnajisi mtoto huku msimamizi wa gereza hilo Charles Mutembei akisema kwamba zoezi hilo lilianza vyema huku wafungwa hao wakiwa tayari kwa mtihani yao tuko na mzee mmoja ya miaka mbili yule amefanya makosi ya defilement eh, lakini amengangana sana and we are expecting him to do well Idadi hiyo imeshuka mwaka huu kilinganisha na mwaka jana ambapo gereza hilo lilikuwa na wanafunzi 12. Katika kaunti ya Kitui wafungwa 14 ni miongoni mwa watahiniwa 1036,440 wanaofanya mtihani huo katika gereza la kaunti hiyo. Msimamizi wa gereza hilo Daniel Kiamba akithibitisha kuwa maandalizi yao yalikamilika vyema. Candidates who are sitting for KCPE today I, I believe they are prepared well and we expect them to pass. Aidha mkurugenzi wa elimu kaunti hiyo Susan Mulewa alithibitisha kutokuwepo kwa matatizo siku ya kwanza ya mitihani hiyo huku usalama ukiimarishwa vilivyo. Katika gereza la Naivasha wafungwa 44 pia wanafanya mtihani wa darasa la nane wakiwemo 16 ambao wanaohudumia kifungo cha maisha katika gereza hilo. Licha ya changamoto zinazolikabili gereza la Naivasha watahiniwa hao wana imani ya kufanya vyema. Naona sasa kama nita, kama nitaanguka sana I have to make that really hard. Nimejiandaa vilivyo ku, ku, ku face mtihani kwa sababu ni kitu mbona nimeanza from the beginning mpaka mahali nimefikia hapa. Sasa nikumalizia tu. Gereza la Naivasha linatambulika kwa kuvumbua wanafunzi bora wanaohudumu gerezani katika mitihani ya miaka ya nyuma Tukiendelea na taarifa tofauti na hizo mtazamaji muungano wa makanisa nchini NCCK umetoa mapendekezo yanayosema ni muhimu kwa umoja wa kitaifa baada ya tangazo la ushindi wa Uhuru Kinyata kama rais mteule wakizungumza kwenye jumba la ufungamano mapema hii leo hapa jijini Nairobi viongozi hao wamependekeza kujumuishwa kwa mwaniaji ambaye anaebuka wa pili kwenye kura katika katiba Kenyans to consider a constitutional amendment that would address this problem. We hereby restate the proposal and appreciate that it can be improved. We recommend that Kenyans through parliament amend the constitution of Kenya 2010 to provide for a an expansion of the executive to provide for the president to appoint a prime minister and two deputies as part of the executive of the winning party or coalition the prime minister and deputy prime ministers 
will sit on the cabinet and may answer questions in parliament. These positions can be ascribed other names. We hasten to add that this is an expanded executive of the winning party or coalition and is not a Nusumkate arrangement. We call for the restoration of the position of leader of the official opposition as was in the old constitution and the creation of the position of deputy leader of official opposition in parliament. These positions would be occupied by nominees of the political party or coalition which meets a set criteria who may be the presidential candidate and running mate who obtain the second highest number of votes in a presidential election. This is necessary if we are to provide dignity for the opposition and an effective and facilitative mechanism of holding the government to account. Baadhi ya viongozi wa mashirika ya kijamii wametangaza kuwa hawayatambui matokeo ya marejeleo ya uchaguzi wa urais chini ya mwamvuli wa We the People viongozi hao wamesema kuwa wa Kenya wanastahili muda wa kupona kutokana na muda mrefu wa siasa na fujo We do not want an elite pact between politicians because that's what has tended to happen when this country confronts a crisis we allow politicians to run away with it they make deals that suit them and the people are left behind to play catch up and we don't normally play that catch up very well once that train has left the station right now we are saying that we are the people under article 1 of the constitution the sovereign will of the republic of kenya belongs to the people and we can exercise it either directly or through our elected and appointed representatives and the time comes when the people who are the principal have to step forward and tell the agents who are the politicians and those who traditionally exercise this sovereignty on our behalf the direction to go and right now we are just saying that we have had an election and it was repeated and the crisis that we are facing has not been resolved and we are saying that uh, the election management, management body in place right now is not one that can uh, uh, conduct another election. It will be the same as the last two. Thirdly, we are saying that 90 days is not sufficient for this same election, for, for us to constitute a new election body. Then fourthly, we are saying in our estimation, we need a minimum of one year to put together an independent credible election management body Na hatimaye watu wawili wamefariki huku wengine 26 wakilazwa hospitalini katika hali wakiwa katika hali mbaya kufuatia mkurupuko wa maradhi ya kipindupindu katika kaunti ya Embu wawili hao wanasemekana kufariki baada ya kuharisha na kutapika kwa muda mrefu walipokuwa wakipata matibabu katika hospitali za Siakago na Runyenjes level 4 akizungumza na wanahabari kuhusu hali hiyo ya afya waziri wa afya katika kaunti hiyo daktari Jamlek Moturi amesema kuwa watu 26 waliolazwa katika hospitali tofauti tofauti katika kaunti hiyo wametengwa ili kuzuia maambukizi zaidi kaunti hiyo imepiga marufuku uuzaji reja reja wa chakula kilichopikwa hadharani out of 26, 12 have been treated and discharged. And what we are doing as a county, the public health and the health personnel, the doctors and clinicians, is that once an, a patient reports to the hospital with the signs and symptoms, he is put, the tests are done and the treatment starts immediately. The contact persons, that is the relatives, they are given pro, provoxys drugs, those are drugs that are meant to prevent any attack by the disease in case there was contamination. The homes are also uh, fumigated or treated so that at least uh, the environment is, is, is made uh, bacteria free. 
Na mtazamaji basi kufikia hapa na tamatisha taarifa za mbiu ya KTN la siri hii. Asante sana kwa kutazama ila kwenye muda usiokuwa mrefu mwanahabari mwenzangu anakuja na taarifa za michezo kwenye zilizala viwanjani. Endelea kuwa nasi naomba tukutane tena mwendo wa jioni ambapo tutakuwa na taarifa kuu ambazo zinatumeza kuzipokea siku hii ya leo. Naitwa Alimanzu, endelea kuwa nasi.